So where are you gonna oh, yeah, segue so, to? Okay, so I was gonna segue to. Uh, I'm gonna make a video on it soon, and I think most people in the community are. But this thing that Ubisoft have talked about and announced regarding their upcoming games, and they've said that it's gonna be present in the next Assassin's Creed game, being that they're trying to steer away from heavy narrative. And... I told you. What what did I tell you about multiplayer? We yeah, talked about this last yeah. podcast. And... What did I tell you about them living in the multiplayer realm? Yeah, it's extremely sad. Um, and you know, some people are being optimistic. Like I saw Nick was talking about it. Uh, the Creed I was talking about it, saying you know the it's you know giving his interpretation is that you know they're trying to have less restrictions in missions and i don't, i really don't think that's the case at all um i think that they're all, i mean it's ubisoft so the odds are that they are going in the wrong direction but hey guys thing... did you like the division well that's all our games from now on. <laughs> that's all but, i'm um, saying i'm telling you man i said it last yeah, episode it's... that is where they're going with everything so I'll, I'll read the thing it says um so it was it was written in french i think and it was translated so it's, apparently it says uh, we're putting less narrative into our games, especially the type present in Assassin's Creed 2. And instead of focusing on the players, uh, oh, and instead focusing on the players' stories, believable world, believable world. Sorry, I'm fucking dying. And uh, emergent character interaction. We want games with things players want to share and allow them to play their way. We're doing this because both ourselves and market trends. See the next Assassin's Creed for the first major example of this. So, uh, that's fucking worrying. Well, no, see, I, that's actually pretty cool. I don't Is think that's necessarily... No, see, hear me out. I don't necessarily believe that's them talking about multiplayer. Or, like, what I was just well, talking Well, not about. necessarily multiplayer, but they're no, saying but... that they're steering away from the the narrative that is present in games like Assassin's Creed 2, which is one of the greatest the narratives type, ever. The, no, the type of narrative is not, not at the moment. It's fucking terrible. There's nothing... And this is what we got to remember, man. We have to remember this. There is nothing we're holding on to anymore. We don't have anything we need them to stay with. The last three games have done nothing. There's nothing we're, we should be worried about at this point. There's nothing we should be like, oh shit, what are they doing? There's, they've already fucked it. They can do anything from now on, just at least what they do, hopefully it's fun and good and we do enjoy it. There's no more, you know, narrative like Ezio games, the Desmond era, th that's done. So when they say narratives like present in Assassin's Creed, they're not talking about what we love. They're talking about the shit we hate. They're like talking what? about stuff that the modern day that's going on currently in Assassin's Creed with fucking Bishop and stuff we don't get to play and we don't get to experience with side missions that are restrictive with these main missions with 100, 300% sync objectives that, you know, kind of lock you into a certain style of playing. For me, what they're trying to do is they're trying to make a world... When I think of building your own narrative, players own narrative, things I want to share, I think of Red Dead, I think of Skyrim. Those are games where their world is so immersive, they do so much of the little things, that the narrative is your own. You have a different experience from everyone else that plays it. Sure, there is their own story mission. Sure, there is their own narrative base of a single player. But there is so much else around that we're having our own experiences. We're telling our own stories. We're not so restricted with the narrative. It's not all about the narrative. It's also about the world we're building, doing side missions, building bases, like doing shit that we like to do in open world games. True. That's what I think. I mean, that's yeah, the thing. Like that. That's I what hope... I'm optimistic about saying. I, I, see, that's the kind of stuff I want. I want loads of that. But what I don't want is because I feel like they've tried to attempt part of it in Watch Dogs 2 is that the narrative and the, the main story takes a back seat to the open world, in a sense. That's kind of what I feel with Watch Dogs 2. Like, the main thing that's there is the, like, the, the world, the stuff you can do, the side activities, all that stuff is the main stuff in the world because it feels very living. But the main story and the narrative is not engaging, really. And I'm just worried that that's what they're trying to do now, is that they're trying to focus on, like I said, player stories, believable worlds, emergent character interaction, um, and things players want to share and allow them to play in their own way, in, as opposed to it's, having it's a driven narrative that is in the game. Like, I'm just... No, I, don't, that's, I don't think that's what they're saying. I don't think that they can't do, they can't do it with Assassin's Creed because it's just not what Assassin's Creed is at all. I think, I think Skyrim is an example of this. There is a bunch of storylines in Skyrim. 
but there is no it is all Skyrim is your own story from start to finish it is absolutely your own story but there is narrative there and it's not bad it's not the greatest thing ever but like I don't think that means Assassin's Creed is going to have a bad narrative Assassin's Creed narrative is going to be like Assassin's Creed narratives always have been Assassins vs Templars shit happens in them some hopefully there will be going some ongoing storylines continuing and things like that maybe there won't be but the point is when you look at, like you said, Watchdogs, you may not like the Watchdog story because it's it's Watchdogs. It's about hacking and a bunch of fucking social justice warrior nerds. Mm. Assassin's Creed isn't about those types of people. It's not those types of stories. It's different entirely. But to have that Assassin's Creed story in a world like Watchdogs, like you talked about, where they manage the little things, you're immersed in a world that isn't necessarily just, you're not just playing it out all the time. Look at Black Flag. Yeah as an example of it because sure the narrative's great the narrative's there but my memories of black flag isn't just edward and edward's story it's also roaming around exploring on my own discovering my own things feeling like i'm having a unique experience that others won't have even though people might have done the exact same thing as me i don't feel necessarily like they're doing the same thing i've done before i feel like i'm on my own journey because it's just how the game's built even though everyone's probably doing similar shit if that makes sense. But there's still the great mm. story there. There's just more to it. I think it just means they're adding more rather than... Yeah, I hope that's what they mean. I hope when they say narrative, I hope they don't mean narratives in story narrative. I hope they mean player narrative. I hope that's what they mean. Maybe that's, it was translated that's from they're... French, so maybe it's just misinterpreted. Like, I don't... Surely they know by this point, things they've said, like, because it, it does contradict things they've said in the past, is that I'm pretty sure yeah. they understand what makes Assassin's Creed great, great is the story. And I hope that they are saying they want to increase player narrative because I'm all for that. Like, because Assassin's Creed 2 has a fantastic storyline, like Ezio's story, Desmond's story, it's great. But no, the, yeah, no there's player no, narrative. Yeah, there is no player narrative. It's all about you playing through a story. It's a very linear story, although the world is very open as well. The story, when you get into a story mission, it's very, it's a very linear story. And I think they, I think they did try to do that with Unity. I think that was their aim with Unity because they talked about it a lot, but it never really happened in the game with like the whole adaptive mission mechanic, didn't work. where didn't they work. said like, you know, if you tail someone and you know maybe you don't have to tail them, you can kill them and you can find a letter or you can interrogate them or like you know you kind of choose what you want to do to progress through the story. But it never really happened. It didn't work. Uh, but if it's something they're trying to do then, yeah, I am for that. It's just, I don't want them to focus more on about. the world and things like it. I, look, if it was any other developer, I'd trust them, but because it's Ubisoft and they've done a lot of things in the past that I don't agree with, and it's like, you're kind of just fucking everything that you've made great, it is worrying when they say something like this and it can be interpreted in that other bad way, because you're like, well, it's Ubisoft. It kind of sounds like something they do because they just don't seem to know what they're doing anymore. Um... And it's kind of worrying, but I mean, if it is the way you're saying it, then uh, sure, like that's that's a good thing. I, just, I mean, we can only wait and see, but yeah, it, it, that's it what is I took very... from it. From what you read, I just assumed from the way you were talking about it beforehand. But when you read the exact quote, I didn't see, I didn't hear from there that they're taking anything away. To me, it was all about adding. Mm -hmm. And they weren't talking about story narrative. They're talking about, like you said, player narrative specifically. I hope so. I hope so. I'm optimistic about it because, I mean, for me, I'm not, I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm not worried. That, what are they going to fuck up? What are they going to fuck up? I just They've don't, already done it's, it. It's not There's nothing to not, lose. There's I nothing to lose. I don't think it's about them fucking up that I'm, like, worried about. I think it's just I'm worried about them not getting better. Like, I don't want it to get worse in another way because they've already done, they've already, like, fucked up the modern day and the main overarching story and the 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 investment in characters in Assassin's Creed, it's and I Darby, don't. Man. And, writing it. What you, that's we're true. Fine. But I don't want them to go from that fuck up to another fuck up. I just want them to go to what is good and what they know is good. Like, why can't they? I don't understand. Like, why is it taken so long for them to be like, oh wait, you know what sold well and everyone loves Assassin's Creed Two Brotherhood and Revelations? Maybe we should do that again. Like, why are they like? Let's do something else. Because no one wants it. It's shit. Like, fucking Unity, Syndicate, Rogue. Just, oh, God. It's just, like, look, if it's about, look. Okay, so it, I just want to quickly read this again. It says, we're putting less narrative in our games. What does that mean? We're putting less putting narrative less in our games? That's how it starts. That's interesting. That's an interesting quote. It's an interesting quote. 
And it's, again, we, we'd have to be there to be like, can we ask a follow-up question? What do you mean? Yeah. Can you clarify this? And again, we can't do that. So we're, it's pure speculation. It could mean something like the, it's not the whole game isn't about the narrative. The narrative is there, but again, it's not all about it. There's a huge other experience you can have with all this other stuff in it. Or it could mean it's less narrative. It's less about narrative. It's, it's, yeah. it's still there. It could mean that. I don't think so. I just don't, that's just not what Assassin's Creed is. It doesn't even make sense. And I do think they're learning, like Ubisoft are making right calls at the moment. Into, uh, it's a simple call of let's not make a game every year. Thank you. Absolutely. What a great idea. Who, who would have thought that would work? You know, that's a great call. That's and it's not an and it's not an easy call. It's easy for us to say, just do it, just do it. That was a fucking hard call. That's m- millions of dollars they lose. You think Watch Dogs Two sells as well as Assassin's Creed? You're wrong. Mm. You're simply wrong, sir, because it does not. I'm sure it sold sold pretty well. I'm sure people liked it. It was reviewed relatively nicely overall, but not even selling half the amount of copies that an Assassin's Creed game would sell. Maybe at the moment, because Assassin's Creed's are fucked. But, you know, at the peak? No. It's just not selling that much. Mm. Ubisoft had to give up a lot of money, and it probably had a lot of pressure. It was a, t- it was a tough choice, and I respect that they put their foot down and made it, especially after Unity. It, it, it did take a while, but, you know, better late than never at this point. I think they've got nothing to lose at this point. They, I, I think they, they know. We've talked to people like Gabe. We've talked to other developers and people around and involved in the production of the next game. Obviously, we don't know everything about the next game, but I think from what we've heard, they know at least what we want. Mm. They know modern days of focus people would like to see improved. They've yeah, acknowledged they it. it. They're very aware of that. Very aware of that. They understand, are they going to do multiple games with the same character? Maybe not, hopefully modern day at the very least. I think they understand that's a possibility. Clearly with the Etia collection, they're starting to see that. Will it happen straight away the next character? Hopefully, maybe not. But that's something they'll look at. Uh, you know, they, they're looking, what's their most, and again, like I said, with whole player narrative aspect, what's their most recent success? Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. That's yeah. their most recent success. Sure, it's not. It's de- it's so totally different to the Ezio collection or the Ezio games, I should say. Mm-hmm. But most recently, it's been their most popular game of the franchise, and so they're looking at that because they're in the next generation. They're looking at new ways of doing things and improving. I'm not upset if they're looking at Black Flag as a example of where they're moving to. I am okay with that. It's, yeah. Is it the same as the Ezio trilogy? No, but it doesn't mean it's bad. I fucking love Black Flag. It is the next best game behind the Ezio trilogy. It's a phenomenal game, and I enjoyed so many aspects of it about action adventure games, and they could do some great things improving on what was good about that, as long as you do still have the narrative there, which I just I can't imagine they're going to fuck around with anymore, especially with writers like Darby McDevitt working on it. He's just not that guy. Yeah. So... It's true. I, like, yeah. Maybe I mean, I'm talking about my ass, I think, uh, I think we just got to wait and see. I think at this point it's, we don't, we don't actually know anything about the next game. All we know is these various things Ubisoft has said. We know we've talked to Gabe. We've talked to various people and you know, other it's, people. <laughs> Wink. I think I feel like everything in some ways contradicts itself like this thing will contradict stuff that other people have told us like gabe gabe didn't tell us anything about what they're doing he just said he thinks they understand people want the overarching narrative like i think he yeah but he's also that. being careful with what he's saying i think when he says things like that i i got the impression that he's like he's telling us without confirming anything because he's not allowed to say so they know that this is what they need to do so he's like well i'm pretty sure they're aware that this is something people want. And what he's yeah. actually saying is that they know what they have to do and they're going to try to do it, hopefully. Yeah, that's true. It's just, we've had this weird wobbly Assassin's Creed stage since Assassin's Creed 3, really. Like, even though Black Flag was a great game, it's still, for the overall franchise, it's been it's been weird since Assassin's Creed 3 came out. 
one one hit out of the last five games. Yeah, and one, it's I just it's hope they can just with the next game. I just hope they get everything right. Like not everything right. They don't have to get everything right, but most things. I hope they can just just big make step up a good game. Like it's just oh god, fucking hell, Assassin's Creed. Um, it's tough, man. It's so fucking tough. It's been fucking weird. But I think when you look at, but again, and even saying, interesting that we even mentioned that Black Flag's the most recent success. They'll be looking for improvement from Black Flag. Let's look again at who's making the next Assassin's Creed game. Same guys. Ashraf Black Fish, Flag, right? yeah. Absolutely. You, and Gavit. you're not going to be mad at an Egypt game that is that is all about immersion in an Egyptian world like that. Oh, you ain't going to be mad at that. The side missions you could run into, the random tombs and dungeons, the random fucking quest lines and helping people battle. Like, you, no one's going to be upset with that. Traveling through the desert? Oh, fuck me. It's just like a desert black flag. Definitely. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, no one's going to be... I mean, I'm not going to... I'm not, definitely with the fact that Darby's writing it and Atrophy's Mail's directing it. The game Holy is going to be... You know, the game as a game is going to be fun. I don't think there's any questions about that.